Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. We're visiting Maggie Valley, North Carolina, on our way home from Florida. And this is our Where We Dined episode. For those of you that don't know, I mostly do resort tours and reviews. But now we're doing our food episode while we were here for a week in North Carolina, Maggie Valley. On our first morning there, we went to a place called Joey's. It's a pancake house, breakfast place. Good morning. <laughs> it's your pancake house. I'm here with my husband Kelly and he loves a good breakfast place. He gets his French toast. I was like really just like wow this menu looks really good and then I thought I knew what I was going to get and then they came up with a special menu. I'm like oh my gosh I don't know what to get. This place had really really good reviews. They said get there early and we did and the place was busy. After much consideration I ended up going with the Eggs Benedict. And I also had a side of apples, which were fantastic. And my husband had the French toast. All was great. The service was so good. The place was absolutely adorable. They even had a Christmas tree. It's the kind of place that sells their own merchandise. And every restaurant we went to seemed to have a bear. It must be like the mascot of the town. I'm really not sure. <laughs> anyway, Maggie Valley is a really cute place. It's the kind of place that has like a welcome center. It's very, you know, travel and tourism. It's a really cool town. I really liked it. And I love Joey's for the food and the service and just how absolutely adorable the place was. It was a win. It was a very, it was an excellent experience. I highly recommend it. On that same day as we went to Joey's, we went to Frankie's. It was so cute. It sounded like we were going to two different brothers' houses or something. <laughs> Joey's and Frankie's. Frankie's is more like a, a pizza, Italian restaurant. The place is adorable. Look, they have a bear. <laughs> Everywhere has a bear. <laughs> It was a really, really cute place. We were like, let's go have a nice sit-down meal because we came in on Christmas and the absolute everything, absolutely everything in the town was closed. We ended up going to like Walgreens and picked up a frozen pizza for Christmas. <laughs> they brought it back to our room and had frozen pizza. So we're like, hey, we owe it to ourselves to have a really nice sit-down meal this day. This is currently December 26, 2021. We did not go in it, but Frankie's also has like a takeout place. They had like a little market right next to the restaurant. So that's cool. I mean, this is like during the pandemic, people are still freaked out about going out and stuff. So that was a nice option. Our waitress was really sweet. The people working there were super nice. We started off with bread. We didn't end up ordering pizza. We ended up getting actual dinner dinners, which um, started off with salad, which was good. I, I upcharged for a blue cheese on it. They were really good. The bread was excellent. The menu was really large, but I ended up going with the chicken marsala, which was really good. I really love the mushrooms and they had a side of pasta with it. And my husband ended up going with a chicken, it was a piccata. It had like capers on it and it was, again, it was served with spaghetti. He really liked it, it was really good. Our next breakfast place we tried in Maggie Valley was called Country Vittles. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm really not sure. <laughs> it was another place that they said get there early, and we did. And we were lucky because it wasn't too busy. It was, it was, and it was very nicely spaced out. There was a lot of room. I ordered blueberry pancakes, which were so good. They were nice and crunchy on the outside. My husband got like eggs and hash. He really, really liked it. It was a cute place. Definitely liked it. Now I'm gonna take you to a couple breweries. They have a lot of them in this area, especially like nearby. They have a town called um, Asheville. There are tons and tons of breweries over there. This place was in Waynesville, which is in the town next to Maggie Valley. This place was cute. If you're enjoying the tour, can you please do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button? That would be cool. I love to do videos like this and it'd be cool to take people along on my adventures. As we carry on to the frog level, they have indoor and they have outdoor dining, sitting. This day was beautiful. I mean, it was December, end of December, but it was probably like 60 degrees. So you have that choice to sit inside or outside. They also have food. The way this worked is you went up to the bar and you ordered there. We arrived there at opening and there was already a line there. I mean, this place is really popular and I can see why. It's absolutely adorable. The beer was great. It was reasonably priced. The people were nice. <laughs> and as you can see, the place is just really cool. It was, a, it was a really good experience. We were here during the week. It is still in between Christmas and New Year's. It's not quite New Year's Eve yet, but there was a lot of families there. Um, you know, a lot of people are, you know, off from work. So it probably maybe might have been a little bit busier than it normally was, though you wouldn't know that at this point. Everybody's in line. <laughs> 
The music they were playing that day was super cool. It was like classic rock, which I was kind of surprised because it's such a young place. They had all kinds of games you could play. I really liked it here. It was really cool. I wanted to go back, but we just never made it. So hopefully we'll get to go back to Maggie Valley soon and go check this place out again. It was really cool. Well, we're on the brewery thing. We're going to go check out one that was on the same road as all the other restaurants that we went to. It's called the Bear Water Brewing Company. Another super cool place. All these restaurants and breweries that I've been featuring so far are all on Soco Road in Maggie Valley, except for the last one I showed you. That one is in Waynesville. But it was so cool that I felt it was worth mentioning. Like Frog Level, this one has indoor and outdoor dining. It had a bar, had every kind of craft beer you could imagine. It had food, it had games. I had ordered heavy cream and my husband ordered the Bugle Boy Brown Ale. They had food and we ended up going with the pretzel. We were actually on our way to Harris Casino, which was about a half hour away from here in Cherokee, North Carolina. That's another video. I already made that if you want to go check that out. And finally, our last dining destination of our trip to Maggie Valley. This one was probably my favorite out of all of them, just for the Christmas decor alone. I absolutely love this Thank place. You so much. It's called Day Arthur's. And it had a bear, <laughs> a Christmas bear. <laughs> they had a dining room and they also had this bar area, which they sat us at because they were having a private party in the dining room, which I'm going to show you in a minute. It's amazing, beautifully decorated for Christmas. We just walked in. We didn't have a reservation, so I was just so excited just to get a seat anywhere. I was kind of expecting to sit at the bar. And me being as nosy as I am, I couldn't just sit there. I had to go see the Christmas tree in that room next door. And it was gorgeous. It was such a beautiful place. It had this big lodge feel like it. And it is a big ski town, so that's totally appropriate. There was no snow at the time that I was there, but uh, I'm kind of relieved about that. Even though it's North Carolina and it should be, you know, warmer, they get snow. Because it's on a mountain. <laughs> they give you salad with your dinners and we first ordered uh, fried green tomatoes which came with a cheesy grits which I'm not really familiar with grits but it was so good the menu had a lot of variety but I ended up going with the chicken marsala again I don't know I always like it no matter where I go it's always a little different it had um, mashed potatoes and broccoli it was delicious and my husband had the filet mignon that had um, a side of mashed potatoes as well we both liked our dinners very much it was a really really good experience well thank you so much if you're still with me for taking the tour with me through all the places that we dined in maggie valley if you enjoyed this video please give it the thumbs up and also if you could subscribe to my travel channel that would rock thank you so much for watching this is your host jennifer sparks happy new year and safe travels to you